Hi Tube, YouTube. I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I've bought from the um, spring collections. I'm trying to cut back a little bit on my spending, so I haven't bought as much as I sometimes do, shamefully. Um, but I really wanted to buy things that I was definitely going to get a lot of use out of and that um, I didn't already have in my collection. <clears throat> so as usual, I was very taken by a number of different things from the Chanel collection. I knew that I wanted to purchase the uh, limited edition blush, which is the one I've got here. I really like Chanel blushes um, because I do like a bit of um, glitter in my blush or luster. And I feel that Chanel do that really well. It's not too uh, over the top. In fact, this um, season's blush, which is called Frivol, and it's a sort of tangerine coral, is one of the least shimmery Chanel blushes. It's just a really true, quite um, matte, uh, I would call tangerine rather than coral, which sounds dreadful, but actually it's really pretty, um, not only for spring, but it's a very warm in colour for a lot of different complexions. And it wasn't really like any blush that I've already got in my collection, so I had no difficulty justifying to myself buying that. And I've already worn it quite a bit. Um, if there was any one that was remotely near to it, I guess it would be Malice, which I bought recently. But that's a much readier um, blush that I have to use more sparingly. And I haven't gotten quite as much use out of so far. So uh, if you're in the market for a coral blush, I would definitely recommend Frival. I would definitely recommend Chanel blushes. I do think they're really good. They have good staying powder power as well as, you know, really nice packaging. The only blush that I've found, powder blush this is, that stays better is Tom Ford. Um, I think their pigmentation and um, lasting power um, is even better than Chanel's, but they are even more expensive, believe it or not. And some of the colours are so pigmented that particularly if you have fair um, Northern European colouring, uh, you do have to apply quite sparingly. So I do like Tom Ford as well, but I think Chanel are the best all-round powder blushes. So I was very pleased with that. Um, and then also in the collection, I didn't initially buy because I thought it's quite similar to things I've already got. One of the nail polishes, I do love Chanel nail polish. They're my favourites and I often buy from each collection. It's quite an unusual spring collection this year. They're showing a, um, a, a nudie beige or a beigey nude which was just too translucent for me. I have to be very careful with nudes. They make my skin look quite washed out, and I think they're difficult to apply. I didn't feel there was anything particularly special about this formulation. They also had a very bright uh, candy pink, um, which is very pretty, not dissimilar to May, which they brought out in the spring-summer collection last year, a bit more um, cyclamen pink, I would have said, than candy pink. Um, very pretty, but again, I'm not a great pink wearer. I do have a few pink polishes, but I don't turn to pink very often. I prefer dark colours and dark reds in particular. Um, I've told you before, and I'll say it again, Rouge Noir by Chanel is my absolute favourite um, nail polish. And I loved very much Malice, which was a version of that in the holiday collection last year, running up to Christmas, but with a bit of um, metallic in it as well, which I absolutely loved. This is called Accessoire, and it's a more kind of ready um almost bricky red. Uh, I'm showing it there to try and get the colour. Um, if I show it on my, you know, kind of wheel here, it's showing up darker even than it is. It's this one here. And uh, not that far removed from Rouge Noir, but actually probably nearest um, to Skyfall by OPI, which is a very bricky red. It's looking much darker um, there in the light but actually on the nails they're very very similar so if you wanted a cheaper version Skyfall I think is is not the same but very very similar um, 
it, it's a really nice colour. I think it's really sophisticated, although it's an unusual colour for spring, but I like it a lot. Um, not from the spring collections, but I bought at the same time from SA. It's Genius, which I think has been out for a couple of years and is a sort of lilac-y wine with a really quite strong gold shimmer in the bottle, although on the nail that shows up less um, shimmery than just a lilac-y pink. It's a pretty colour, quite strange to apply. It's got one of the thickest brushes I've ever, ever come across in an SA nail polish. Very thick and long. Um, so that's quite hard work to apply, but I like it a lot. And then my um, least successful purchase from the collections and from Ch Chanel was this um, waterproof eyeliner, which is in three shades. And I got Beryl, which is a pale lavender. And my idea was to use it as a brightening shade in the tear duct. Um, I've bought various whites and creams and they haven't really worked for me. And neither is this one, I'm having to say. It really doesn't show up very much at all. And it's not a particularly soft, blendable um, formulation. You have to press quite hard on the inner corners of the eye to get um, any colour. And I can't really see how you'd use it as a liner other than a waterline um, brightener because, you know, it just doesn't show up. So... I really wouldn't recommend that. Quite expensive mistake, I'm afraid. Um, what I just knocked over there is something from last year's collection that I was going to show you, which is um, the uh, illuminating highlighting powder. And the reason I'm showing this is because there's a beautiful one out in this spring collection. It's um, smaller than this. It's the, the small palette and it's a round, beautifully embossed with the double C, the powder, and uh, a very pretty illuminating powder, but very, very similar to this one, which I got kind of this time last year. And although I use it a lot, you can see, I mean, I still haven't even got the engraved pattern off. Um, I really like their powders. I, I use this, it's supposed to be just a highlighter, but I use it all over the face, to be honest, because I like a bit of sheen and it's not too glittery beautifully packaged again so I couldn't justify buying another one but if you're in the market for a good but subtle illuminating powder um, that would be one to look at if you're there for a much you know clearer highlighting powder it's not very strong or in your face and then Clarins long time since I've bought anything from their collections but I saw this advertised on somebody's site a model recommends and really, really liked it. It's a powder with a few stripes of coral and one of pink. If you apply sort of dusting all over, it actually it just looks like a peach there, but it actually gives quite a lot of colour. You would use it as a blush um, contour rather than a powder on the face, although, I mean, you could work with just this bit and get less colour payoff. But as a kind of blush alternative, alternative it's really really pretty and uh, I undenied for quite a long time because I haven't bought Chanel um, uh, Chanel uh, Clarins cosmetics for a while and I do have a lot of powders but I'm really enjoying that so definitely worth looking at if you're in the market for um, a very pretty subtle um, blush contour that is fairly multi-purpose so I'm pleased with uh, most of my spring purchases so far and trying to restrain myself from making any more. Let me know if you've got any favourites from the spring collections.